beginning to have an impact on students, our Northern Regional Correspondent Christopher Mwako visited the Baga Baga College of Education in Tamale and has filed this report. Both teaching and non-teaching staff of colleges of education across the country embarked on an industrial action starting November 14. And here at the Bagabaga Baga College of Education, and students have been engaging in, in other activities just while away time. We don't know what to do because we have revised for the quiz which is not coming off. So we have decided to engage ourselves in these activities in order to release a boredomness. Few students were seen engaging in individual and group studies to keep themselves busy. By now, if it was a normal day, you would have met a lecturer in front of this class. But as, it's, as you can see now, the class is virtually empty. So only a few students are in the class. Most of them are relaxed at the dormitory simply because tutors are not in class to teach us so we are pleading with the government to to meet the needs of our teachers so that they can return back to class then we'll start our exams and go home the students are unhappy about the strike even though the strike started only yesterday but it has affected us because our mid semester was scheduled yesterday which we were to write but unfortunately because of the strike, our mid-semester, we are not able to rise. Last two semesters, we had strike. Last semester, we had strike. And this semester, again, we were supposed to go on with our serious studies because we are already done with the first phase of the semester. At the girls' dormitory, the girls were in their rooms when the news team got there. On hearing about the presence of the news team, they came out in their numbers to register their displeasure about the impact of the strike. <laughs> place as a student we all think we are here to learn but if we are here to learn and these cases are coming on because of this strike or hung up by our teachers I think there's nothing or there's no use for us being in school as far as going on there's no food we have to be managing our meals at the dining hall we don't get it in time and we have to be moving about randomly though food was served at the dining hall as a result of negotiations by school management and the kitchen staff the students fear they may not be fed should the kitchen staff comply with the strike directives. CTAC and SENSAC are on indefinite strike to demand for better conditions of service and compensation for all year-round work, among other concerns. The two striking groups say they will only resume their services if government addresses their concerns. Let's go.